Hey guys, Jamie here today on Roblox. We're playing some more Pokemon Brick Bronze. As you can see on screen right now, today we are battling against I Eat Your Face again. This is going to be a full underused or lower tier. So um, also, I'm pretty sure all of his Pokemon are going to be the underused tier, and mine aren't. Mine like I have some rarely used Pokemon, so pretty sure Rayu is below you, you right? Or did I look at the list wrong? Okay, okay. So I have some rarely used Pokemon, so I think my oh my way actually is Tentacruel an underused or is that overused? I might not. I might have put, put, put in Tentacruel by accident. Let me see if um I actually do have a full underused or less team. Tentacruel is oh it is a UU team still, and I have Bayonet. Which is, Mega is the, oh no, I need to start off actually. Let's go into this as a lead off. And go. Kellen, so my Mega Bayonet is a rarely used, I think. Hactress is a, un, 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 underused. Okay, that was a bad lead off. Actually, was it a bad lead off for me? I mean, I can fake out it, I guess, but he does outspeed me entirely with just this one Pokemon. Drapon is rarely used, so Infinite's underused, underused, underused. And I think Sylveon is also underused now, unless it is now a rarely used Pokemon. Sylveon, Smogon. Let's have a quick look. My Z Move user is the Infinite. Also, I can't stand against this freaking um, this. I thought it was a really bad. Actually, it's an underused. So I have two rarely used Pokemon, which are Drapon and Sylveon. Didn't really pick out my team to be exactly that great because I just realized as well this has knockoff, this has knockoff, and this has knockoff. Not exactly the best team overall, but I think it should work. I do have Fake Out, so I'm just going to go for the uh, Fake Out instantly. Mega Pidgeot is a, um, a normal flying. I think it's like 121 base speed. So uh, the SP is everything on my team. I didn't really think about speed, did I? So that means um, Bayonet actually can't Shadow Sneak it, so i got to rely on the Infinite's Fake Out to actually take it down. Got the Flinch Loyal. Uh, if you are wondering, yes, I, I still don't have a Thunder Punch Infinite. <laughs> After all this time, I still don't have one. It's going to the Sylveon, which I'm hoping I remember to put the moose set on it. Because it's meant to have, right now it's meant to have Reflect with a Light Screen. Oh no, Reflect with a Light Clear. Although I'm pretty sure it has a, um, a leftover with Draining Kiss and Moonblast, not the right set. So Paolo, I actually don't have a U-turn on it, didn't really think about that. I go into the Sylveon, he's going to swap out. Don't really have anything for the Pidgeot, to be honest. I didn't really think about too many underused teams, but I just kind of threw some team Pokemon together. Okay, there's the leftovers. Um, we can't really do too much to our Nalola Muck, which is amazing. Nalola Muck is so cool. I'm predicting, predicting a poison move. I want to say the Tentacruel could be an okay option to go into. Um, maybe the... Now, the Infinite, I could Z-move on it. I don't really know what his team is, though. Drapon could come out on Acupressure and Earthquake, so I think I'm actually going to go with that option. I believe his Muck is probably going to be running a tank set. My Drapen, obviously. Air Bloom, Earthquake. No, knockoff, that's fine. Shouldn't do. Actually, does a, a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, he's probably gonna have Earthquake then. Let's go for an Acupressure. See if he withdraws it into the Pidgeot. Can I get a speed increase? Come on, give me that speed increase. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Special attack. That's what, not what I wanted at all. Okay, well, he's just, just gonna one hit kill me. So let's go into the Sylveon again then. I was hoping for speed, because then I'd be able to outspeed this Pidgeot and just poison jab it. Yeah, there's a hurricane. Oh, and it gets the confusion. Not gonna lie, I've been wanting to run a Mega Pidgeot for a while, but with the new Pokemon being released, I'm just kinda like, I kinda want to use the other ones. Let's go for a Moonblast. Hope I actually probably gone, could have gone for a Draining Kiss, but I'll go for the Moonblast for the high damage output, really. Oh, this is Mega Pidgeot alone is gonna just sweep me, which is bad. Uh, critical hit as well. Don't hit yourself, please. He has got a crit. Thank you. Okay, we got the Moonblast off. We got it off. Nice. Okay, Ellen. Can I hit this for a lot? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I did an okay amount, but I don't have any more priority moves. Hactress mm, probably won't tank a hit. I think my Tentacruel's running like a... Um, I'm only running like a physical tank set, but it probably can live a hit. I can go for the Scald or the Knockoff. Probably the scout to be, for the safe bet, to be honest. Okay, can I actually do I have anything to swap in that can just tank a hit? I don't think I really do. I was tempted to put Focus Slash onto my um 
on to my infinite because it's gonna hit he's actually hidden power. I wonder what that is then. So it's not super effective against fairy. Probably ice. Or ground. Actually it's probably a ground set. I'm pretty sure I've battled his Pidgeot before. The infinite could come out, but I think the tentacle is a better option and I have the chance to like burn something. Oh, I could go for the Acid Spray, but it won't one-hit kill the Pidgeot, so scaled it. He's gonna U-turn, most likely. I'll just throw a Kedma. I was actually gonna Roost, uh... I forgot that this thing actually has Roosts. I, I mean, it should be obvious, but... Yeah, that's not actually gonna do anything, is it now? Let's go for an Acid Spray. Um, that'll decrease his special defense by plus two. Or oh, minus two. Even. Oh my god, he got another freaking... Does that always confuse you? Okay, I, I actually got an Acid Spray off. Nice. Special defense harshly fell. He's probably gonna go for a U-turn then this turn. The Pidgeot's gonna just destroy me. Pidgeot's gonna destroy me. It's like the one Mega really that I didn't really want him to use. I thought he was gonna be using like the Sceptile or the um, the Beedrill that he usually uses. Because also those are his... Um, well, the Sceptile's new because of the... Oh, and he predicted the Scald. I'll just rather hit myself to pass in this situation. <laughs> no, give him the Storm Drain. Boost, that'll be bad. Okay, he's gonna go for an Earthquake. My team is entirely weak to ground, isn't it? I wonder if Pikachu's could tank a... Uh, no, it's, it's a special attack, isn't it? I have phys more physical bulk. Uh, Hydra's can't tank too many hits, Len, can it? Let's go for the... Uh, <laughs> knockoff, Len. Oh, I'm actually going to get destroyed. Do I even have any underuse? I have. I think Weavile's an underuse, but... Yeah, I don't think I really likes Weavile, so I didn't really want to put it on my team. Okay, leftovers are gone. This is actually gonna scald me. Okay. Is it gonna get the burn? No. Let's go for um, my only other move line, Acid Spray. Try and get that special defense drop. It's been a bit of drop. Even though my other best remaining Pokemon are physical attackers. Which is why I only brought the Tentacle because it might help, might have helped with the um, Sylveon. Yeah. Sylveon's already down, so the Acid Spray won't really do too much. Is he not gonna Earth Power me? That's kind of interesting. I guess I could actually go into the Hactress and D Dance, but against the Gastrodon, that's probably scarier. Just uh, do that. Finally, I snapped out. Nice. Only hit myself once. Okay, but if drop again, is the staying in expecting me to like scout him back? Because I don't, don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. Oh, he got the burn. Oh, reap, reap. Okay, I just gotta remember. I can't scout it. I can't scout it. Because that's really, really bad. That's just pretty again. Okay, there we are. We're doing, we're doing a little bit more damage every turn. Oh, oh it's Andy, Andy has to recover. Yeah. Oh, I think um, I am really not used to using underuse and only underuse. Like, in my team, I mainly have to like fall back on like a one overuse or like two overuse. I think in my teams I've been using recently, I've been using these three um, with a lot of nine tails, which I think is overused. I've been using... What else have I actually been using recently? I actually don't know. <laughs> it's, it's been a while, okay? That's a spray again. Absolutely does nothing. Nice. Scout again. Okay. I mean, I could just hop into the into the ha Hacturus, but... Yeah, I don't really... Ha I need to let Tentacle go down now. And just hope for the best. Just as a spray. I actually need to check as well. Can I one-hit KO a Gastrodon on plus one? Into the Pidgeot again. Pokemon sh damage calculator. Okay, I'm actually just gonna... Um, it's probably gonna Roost, so I'm just gonna Acid Spray again. Hurricane actually, nice. Probably realize I don't have any more special attackers. Um, Haxorus... Against a... I still have... Dragonclaw, not Outrage. I keep forgetting about that as well. Gastrodon. Which is, I'm just gonna put on like a, this set. It's probably like a special tank plan that he has on his. So we're on a plus one, Dragon Claw will do, it's a very small damage, damage roll. But I can just tank a scout from that thing. I could go into the Bayonet right now and just Destiny Bond it. That could be an option. I wonder if Drapion could tank a hit from a Pidgeot. I mean, I doubt it, but I mean, but I mean, uh, Infinite could just probably come out and just take out Mac Punch. I think I'm going to have to go, go with that option. I really don't have anything for it. Yeah, I didn't really think about Pidgeot, though. 
That was like the least, like my the least mega I was really like really concerned about him bringing. He ended up bringing it. Just great. <laughs> Kalen, come on, come on, Infinite. You got this. Fake out. Oof! Got the flinch. Come on, Mac Punch now. Just Mac Punch it to death, please. Is it gonna predict me having Mac Punch and fake out? Because no one runs those two. Only me right now. Because I don't have Thunder Punch. Pidgeot's down. Yes. <laughs> That was the only way I could take it on the Pidgeot. Now that the Pidgeot is down, it might be a little bit easier for me. But not really. I'm gonna give up my Drapion for the Gastrodon. He's also gonna go for the Earth Power or the Scalds. I'm hoping the Scalds. Then again, Earth Power will just want it kill me. Is it Earth Power? Scalds. Hopefully it just doesn't burn. Baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, just a critical hit. Nice. It's already been knocked off, so, um, yeah, about that. Let's just go for knockoff. Predicting the swap out? No, just gonna stay in. Okay, I'll take a critical hit back. Thank you very much. Okay, there's a scout. Now we can go for a free uh, D dance on my Haxorus now and take him down. I could actually go into the infinite and just fake out and just close combat it. That could also be an option, but I don't really have any swap out, so, uh,. Gotta go for this set, okay? Mold Breaker breaks a mold, doesn't really, don't really care about that. Let's go for the D-Dance, and I think that should be okay. He's got Recover, Scowls, he probably has Earth Power and a Gastrodon, let's be honest. I, I haven't seen anyone yet that hasn't used Earth Power and a Gastrodon. Then again, I haven't really seen too many Gastrodons in Brick Bronze. Again, another Pokemon that I'm actually kind of curious about. But the Mega Pidgeot, I really want to get Mega Pidgeot. I don't, I mean, it doesn't get Heat Wave yet, which makes it kind of bad. If it gets Heat Wave, that'll make it a little bit better. Um, just for the fact that it, like, it can hit Ice types then. Um, but I don't really know. I'm gonna have to just go for the Dragon Dance and just hope. This is, my, this is my win condition now. At least I didn't bring the Crobat. That was like another Pokemon I was scared about. I was wanting to bring my own, which um, if I did, that would be better for his freaking. Um, for, for his. Oh, he always stayed. Then what's he gonna do? Recover? Or what? Ice Beam? He has Ice Beam on the Gastrodon? Okay, did not expect that to be honest. Don't you dare freeze me. Okay, it didn't. Nice. Okay, let's go for that um, Dragon Claw one now. There should be enough to take it down. I don't have Outrage, which kinda sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda wish I had out, uh, Outrage. But if you had a Fairy Tide, that would really, really suck. I'm gonna go for this. I have Poison Jab by Earthquake, so I can hit by the rest of the team exceptionally hard. But yeah, Crobat on my team would be pretty good for his. Um, for his. Pidgeot, also I'd be able to off speed and I'd do a ton with Brave Birds. But I didn't really, like I said again, I didn't really predict him to bring the Pidgeot. As, and I didn't want to bring the Crobat because I know because I, I know that he likes Crobat a lot as well. I was expecting him to bring that as well, so I didn't want to have a Crobat 1v1 pretty much, like just duking it out. I thought I'd go the op the other way and think, don't want to go Crobat, don't want to go for a Beedrill or a Sceptile because I don't want to use like the same, like a lot of the same Pokemon potentially. So I thought I'd go for some other Pokemon. And it seems to be okay. This thing's a ghost grass type, I believe. Hmm. No, if I let me have a look at its stats. Now, if I know dirt, I mean, not dirt, I mean, d dirt, I don't think it's used this yet. But if I know I eat, Delmise would probably go for. Well, actually, it only runs a tanky set, but it's got some pretty good physical set as well. Okay, so I have Haxorus. Undo Dragon Dance set. I don't have Outrage, I have Dragon Claw. Because I keep forgetting Outrage is a thing. Um, plus one. Dragon Claw has a has a 12.5% chance to one-hit KO this thing, which is disgustingly low. I do have infinite left. If I had to guess, what would it what would it go for really? Like it, I can hit it with a flamethrower or a fire blast. I still have my Hatcher still with the lumber. So like if I do get frozen or something like that, I can still go into it again. I think I'm gonna go into the infinite. Sucks. 100%. I actually my infinite doesn't even have a U-turn on it because I completely forgot about that being a thing. Anchor shot does a lot. I'm gonna go for my Z move now. No problem. I can't. Um, I can't even. Fake out it, so I gotta go for the Inferno Overdrive. He's gonna withdraw the Delmise. What does it have for it, Lil? The Muck? Is that gonna be able to tank a Inferno Overdrive, Lil? Because I haven't shown him in, in his emus, so he might fall that I don't have one. But, throwing out 
the Z move or the um, Flare Blitz. Hopefully it does a uh, Mall in half. <laughs> That's my only concern right now is that we're doing Mall in half. It's a one shot. Nice. Okay. That is the Muck down. I was kind of scared about the Muck, but I do have Earthquake on my. Oh, he has his own infinite. Shoot. Now what do I do? Oh no, the Hacktress can't win against this. Okay, I think I just gotta stay in and just Mac punch it myself. Or do I close combat and hope that I outspeed it? Oh, my not sped. Nice. I'm gonna get like a really, really good hit off. Good enough for the um, for the Shadow Claw Shell Sneak now to just take it down and close combat in me. Okay, there's that. Special defense is dropped. He's, uh, he's a life upset. Okay, man was a Z move. He has how many Pokemon left again? Do they, do they have three or two? Because he has the Infinite and the Delmise. Oh, he has one more as well. Let's go for the Mega Shadow Sneak to take down the Infinite. Obviously, I outspeed it. This is really, really close to say that um, I was not expecting half of these Pokemon, to be honest. I was expecting some of the new ones, obviously. To be honest, I was hoping that he'd bring the, a Drapion. Not really. Well, then again, Drapion was actually rarely used. A lot of muck, I don't know what tier that is, actually. It's probably like something similar. But yeah, I think um, when I mainly says he wants a UU battle, I think he's saying that he mainly is going to be using UUs and nothing really below that tier. <laughs> so, yeah, but Vayner kind of helps against his team. Can't will the wisp the Infernape, but I can will the wisp the Delmise. I, I actually could just Destiny Bond against it as well. Get my bayonet. Also, he probably knows I have Destiny Bond on this thing. So if I just sack the, if I took, if I was in, I use mind. He probably will be thinking I'm gonna go for a Shadow Sneak now. Take on the Infinite, and whatever he brings up next, I'm, he thinks I'm just gonna go for like a, uh, a Destiny Bond or a Will O Wisp. I'm pretty sure he's battled my bayonet before, and I haven't changed up anything. Unfortunately, I forgot about Shadow Claw being in the game. I actually don't have Shadow Claw on this specific set of my bayonet. I have Shadow Sneak with Knockoff. I could probably swap out the. Um, Something else for Shadow Claw, like the Willow Wisp, but keep the Destiny Bond, that'd be nice. I might actually do that. I'll have a look, but Shadow Sneak, taking down the Infinite. Now it's a 2v2. Bait us on full health. Um, my Hactress is low health. There's the Delmise. What's it gonna do, low? Do I Will O Wisp it? Can I Will O Wisp it is a question I probably should be asking instead, because I haven't battled one of these before. I think I just Will O Wisp it. Because it is high physical attack. Delmise against a bayonet. Um, for the mega bayonet. Mine's like a prankster set. Mine has. Oh, this one has taunt. Shadow Ball. Mine doesn't. Mine has Shadow Sneak. And knockoff. Knockoff. Knockoff will have a slight chance to one hit KO. His Shadow Claw will one hit KO me, so I think I Destiny Bond against it and take it down. It's a 1v1, which I actually have no idea what his last Pokemon is. I'm hoping he just Shadow Claws me. There's the Shadow Claw. It should be a one hit KO. There it is. Okay. Delmise should go down now, then. There we go. Delmise is down. Now it's a 1v1. Hactrius first. what whoever his last Pokemon is, which I don't, don't know. It's a Flawgeous. I have Poison Jab, but will it be enough? No! <laughs> Will it be enough? I actually forgot some freaking Flawgeous. I completely forgot about this Flawgeous. Oh no. Isn't Flawgeous like a rarely used Pokemon now as well? Or is that still underused? Haxorus. I'm using a Dragon Dance set, but not Outrage. I'm running Dragon Claw, even though it doesn't really matter. Flawgeous. Yeah, it is actually rarely used. Poison Jab only can do 75%, so he technically wins. Shoot, that was that was good though. If I can critical hit right now, ha, ha, come on. Now only half. He's gonna boom blast in the GG right there. Then I got the poison, of course I do. But give him the GG. That was kind of close. He had half health left on his flawless. I kind of like that battle though. I wasn't expecting pretty much any of those Pokemon except from the Infinite. I kind of predicted it would bring that. And all on that, I just thought I'd bring like a new, a new Pokemon from the next, from the newer uh, route, which I uh, wasn't really expecting the Lolan Muck out of all of them, to be honest. I was expecting like the Drapion or a. 
I think it's Ma Mainshu, Mainshu, the fighting type thing. But yeah, but there we are. Anyway, I'm going to leave off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Also, I'll leave Ai's channel in the description down below. But like always, I'll see you guys next time.